Boon Junkers here, and this is, uh, part five? Yeah, part five of, uh, Sign Sega Ocean's Racing. So, in this video, we will play as the Bonanza Brothers, because I love their cart and I love their game. Um, if you hear that banging in the background and stuff like that, that, I'm sorry, that's my, uh, that's my across the street neighbor, whatever, I don't know how you call it. Um, he's loading up some trees and stuff like that, so you're going to hear that for a while. But anyway, so we go on to Samba Cup. Let's go. So we have Rocky Coaster, Highway Zero, Deadly Roots, and Ocean Ruin. Pretty cool. Yeah, sorry if you hear that sawing in the background, too. They're cutting up the tree, so. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take them, but. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, yeah. One minute. Just checking. Just chopping. Uh, this is an okay stage. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I love the Bonanza Brothers. If you if you've not played their game, play it. Oh man, it's a really fun game. Uh, really addicting. It has really good graphics for uh, 1993. I think that's when it came out. I think it was 1993. Um, but it was, it's actually a pretty fun, addicting game. Um, if you haven't played it already, it's on the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection and the app game Sega Genesis Plug and Play Console, if you want to know. Um, but yeah. They have this, like, a gangster car right here. Let's see here. Give it a little boost in there. A little boost in there. I, I, seriously. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, we are nearing the end of the game, guys. Um, just one more uh, cup or two more cups, I guess. Uh, this ah, what was that? <sighs> anyway, uh, about two more cups. Uh, this cup, and then um, next cup, and then we're done. We're done with the game. And then after that, obviously, uh, if you've seen my late, earlier parts, you already know, um, I am going on to uh, Super Mario 3D Land, finally getting that redone. Um, and then after that, uh, Super Monkey Ball 3D, and then after that, Rabbids Travel in Time 3D, so... Be ready! Uh, Rabbids Travel in Time is actually a pretty fun game, so... And Super Monkey Ball 3D, I'll say some stuff about the game uh, later when I actually do the Let's Play. But yeah, so, um... Yeah. Um... Yeah, so that's it. Pretty much it. Aha! That's what it was! There was a, there was like a horn right where the uh, booster is. It was a trick. So if you try to go on the booster, it'll send you back. What a jerk. Oh, final lap. Somebody, please job me. Uh, but yeah, so... I'm just kind of, I'm really excited to actually redo uh, Super Mario 3D Land, finally. Um... Yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad... Wow, I'm getting a lot of boosters. Um, but I'm really glad I'm actually going to be able to redo that. Um, it's, it's, it's one of my... It's one of my games where it's kind of like, okay, really, I do want to complete it. Um, it's a very fun game. I uh, just recently, about, uh, I'd say three weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago, um, I recently completed it. So, um, and yeah, I completed it without using the Golden Tanuki once. Um, although, I did die a lot more than my playthrough that I did use the Golden Tanuki. Um, recently, about a couple of, two weeks ago, maybe, oh, come on, seriously, oh, okay, cool. About a week ago, I, um, completed New Super Mario Bros. 2. Now, not a Let's Play kind, um, for the last world, I couldn't, um, beat it, so I just used the Golden Tanuki. Yeah, I'm, I'm a wimp, but I wanted to see the, the ending, uh, cutscene, so. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Okay, four minutes. Man, four minutes for one race. Yeah, most of the races in this game are a lot longer than um, your typical Mario Kart races. But it makes up for that because there's only six cups. Uh, there's only six cups 
but it makes up for it by making longer races. So it kind of amounts to eight cups because of how much longer it is than Mario Kart. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm kind of wanting to still keep this conversation about, um, trading games. Because now I remembered a lot of more games that I traded. One, one game that I regret so much for trading, um, is Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360. Um, now don't get me wrong, I still have the game. But, um, I traded it, I, I got it new, um, I got it new, pre-ordered, stuff like that, uh, when it first came out, and, uh, I, um, okay, at that time, I think I've already said it in another episode, but that was the giving up portion of my life, where I would get really mad at a game, and then just give up on the game, um, so, knowing that, I gave, I gave up on the final boss, traded the game, I got, and then, with that money, I got, uh, you're not even going to believe it, I got Pure uh, and Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Yeah, I really regret, tra uh, I really regret trading Sonic Generations, and uh, I got the digital version when it was on uh, sale for like five bucks. Um, but yeah, I still really regret trading Sonic Generations. It was a very fun game, but at least I still have it back, and at least I'm never going to trade it now. Um, but yeah. Uh, but if that wasn't bad enough, I traded Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which I know people say that that's a really bad game, but I don't know. I kind I kind of thought it had a special charm with Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Um, uh, do I think it's better than the original game? No, N no, definitely not. But it's still a pretty fun game. I don't think it's a terrible game. Um, do I feel disappointed that ba that Banjo Kazooie made a game like that than a game like the original? No, not really. Um, it was still a fun game in my opinion, and I could still have some laughs. And um, I'm not really disappointed because what do you expect? It's Microsoft. They're not going to be as good as Rare. <laughs> Uh, yeah, speaking about uh, stuff like that, um, I'm thinking about getting a PS Vita. Uh, like, it's kind of funny, it started with me thinking for, of getting a PSP so I could download PS1 games. And then I thought, well, what if I just get a PS1 so I can get more PS1 games? Then I found out that you can download PSP games on PS Vita and PS1 games on PS Vita, so I just got a PS Vita. <laughs> so, I'm thinking about maybe next year getting a PS Vita and, um, I already know like a couple of games like Sonic Rivals, Sonic Rivals 2, Little Big Planet, uh, Rayman Origins, Rayman Legends, uh, stuff like that. Most of the Lego games I'm probably gonna get on that. So yeah. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I love Bazan's Brothers. Really fun game. Uh, if you can get a time to play it, definitely play it. It's a very, very fun game. And um, definitely one that people need to check out. Um, yeah. Ah, Shadow! You bumped me into that guy. Ooh, this is a different pathway now. Um, in the DS version, there was not... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like this level that much. It's very crowded, very uh, cramped. And those two do not mix. It's like Walmart on steroids. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever went to Walmart, it's definitely that's probably the crowded store you ever go to. Um, okay, get tails there. Ah, bomb. Uh, can I do two? Yes, I can. Uh, cool. Who is in first? <sighs> Freaking I, I. Jeez. I guys want want in everybody's heads. Oh, thank you. You die. I get in first. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there any secret pathways like there was with the other one? No. So this is so this is very cramped. Um. Jeez. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, this one makes it slower. Mm -hmm. So I just got an all-star. Uh, wow, geez, three people. Shadow, Amico, and Eggman are right on my tails. Tails? I'm not tails right now. Right on my tail. <laughs> Get the shield here. And two jumps, two jumps, two jumps. There we go. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the stage is okay, but it's definitely very cramped. Very um not much happening too. I mean it's I mean, sure you're going in this like giant corridor and stuff like that, but there's not really much happening besides that. But hey, at least we're on the final lap. <laughs> I wanna cut yeah. Cool. Just barely made it. Uh, oh, okay. That one guy, the, that zombie, has got all-star. I forgot his name. Uh, oh, yeah, Zobio and Zobico. Or, no, it's not Zobico, it's Zobico. There you go. Zobio and Zobico have got all-star. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it has, like, Z-O-B-I-K-O, I think. And it's like, you'd think to say Zobico, Zobico but no, it's Zo Zobico. No, you'd think it's, like, Zobico, or... Zobico, but it's Zobico, or I don't, I don't know how to say it. I don't know. I'm I'm, get, I'm getting things mixed up. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Well, and and the worst thing is I don't know where they are. Like I don't know where those guys. I mean I know they came from Current Mansion, yeah, but like, why? I mean like most of the zombies here are just dead and lifeless. So why do they have like really awesome kick beat? Oh hey, you know. <laughs> zombies, you know, it's kind of weird. But I've never seen the game, so if I if I see see a bit, I might know why. Ocean Ruin, <laughs> that's why. Already twelve minutes, jeez. Well, three times four is twelve. If each if each uh, level was four minutes long, then. But anyway, talking about the next part, we'll play as uh, my me and uh, go on to the finale. And we will do that. Ooh, Palm Tree Panic or Seaside Hill. Well, I think this is the last um, uh, Sonic stage. Or I think the second to last. So I think I'll just choose Seaside Hill. And plus, uh, I am playing Sonic Heroes right now, so... You know, might as well get reminded about it. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, same thing with the DS version. I'm not doing the missions. Um, sorry, I forgot to say this when I uh, first did the game. But I'm not doing the missions. Um, I've tried and I've failed. I've tried and I've failed. I just cannot do the missions. They're definitely a lot harder than the DS versions. Um, but yeah. So we see here. Rocket, shoot that backwards. Can it hit Amy? I have no idea. Oh, it, it hit Amy. Cool. Um, but yeah, kind of slow here. Um, but yeah. Um, when I get a Wii U, yeah, I'm get, I'm trying to get a Wii U this year, and then a PS Vita and an Xbox 60 next year. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. Uh, yeah, three is good enough. I sh I could have done one more, but I kind of. Didn't want to risk it. I'll probably do one more next time. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, I'm I'm trying to get a Wii U this year, and then the year after that, I'm I'm gonna get a PSP and Xbox 360, and then after that, uh, yeah, after that, you'll see some new uh, you'll see some better quality on my channel, because the year after I get an Xbox 360 and a PS Vita, um, I'm going to get a laptop, a camcorder, and hopefully an editing device. So. I can hopefully get my videos camcorder quality, HD camcorder quality, and at least I can edit them, um, and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully I can do that. Um, and I'll be playing some better games because I can be playing some extra 60 of these games. Yeah, but that is a long way from now, so don't. Like, don't be seeing, it. like, don't be like, oh, man, yay, new quality. No, it's going to be like, oh, man, new quality, but it's going to be like three years from now. 
So, yeah. It'll be it'll be a pretty long time until I actually get that stuff. But once it comes around, man, that's going to be a glorious time. Okay, three, and can I do four? Yeah, there you go, four. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's hit that crab. Oh, come on! I hit that crab. Uh, this one's right here. Hoo-ah! Oh, come on! Did I still get... Aw. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Okay, so for so for the final lap, I'll show you guys. I'll uh, show the longer route to you guys, just to show you like what's happening here. Oh, but yeah, man. Yeah, it's like I would have done medium stuff like that. Why am I going so slow? I'm actually going pretty slow. Um, but I would have done medium like and stuff like that. I would have done medium and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't make you go any faster. It's literally just a difficulty spike. And it's like, well, why do that when you're not even going any faster? With Mario Kart, it changes a bit. But with this game, it's like, oh, hire great enemies. Yay. It just doesn't do much. Uh, it just doesn't do enough to where it's like, oh, man, I want to do 100cc for this Let's Play. Uh, can I do four? Yeah, four. Finally. And I'm glad there's no stupid chomp chomps coming out of nowhere killing me. Jeez, freaking hate that. It's like, you never told me that was going to come out of nowhere. Hopefully it doesn't do that this time, but I am going to go the longer route this time. See, the longer route, it doesn't, it doesn't make you go faster, but it gives you an item, and that's really it. And a, and a couple boosts. But uh, that's it, and I won. So there we go. So let's see. Uh, Amigo third, Shadow second, and us first. Just got a bomb in his hands. I love that. But uh, there we go. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and channel helps a ton. But anyway, see you guys next time in the finale, where we play as my me and go on to the Monkey Cup. So see you guys then.